the ickiest thing a girl can do? First one, talk like man them. Uh, bro, yeah. Yeah. Where's Dusty White Air Forces? Chai heavily uses American lingo. Per, period, sway. Where's birthday makeup? <laughs> Sleeps with her mouth open. <laughs> Yo, guys, it's Steps. I'll be deep and I'll be deep and I'll be deep in your boy Benzo. It's Paps. And this is Guess the Order. We'll each take turns in our hot seats, ranking the variety of scenarios from one to five. One being the best and five being the worst. And the other two try and guess the order. For each correct placement, we'll get a point. Whoever accumulates the most points will be the winner. And before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the post notification bell to know every time channel 4.0 drop. Trust you get it. Subscribe lively. Which area of London is the most tapped? Tottenham, Peckham, Wembley, Hackney. Or Crater. Where do you think he's going though? Hey, what am I gonna tell you for? What makes the area tapped? The knees, man. The women. The women. Seriously. Yeah. You know there's some tap girls. What frightens him? That's the main question. What scares you, Sean? I don't like mad people. Most tapped London areas. Let's go. First one, Hackney. It has to be Hackney. The knees there. They treat you like they're family members. I know you've got a couple of friends. Shout out, Once Philip. you buy the McDonald's, I'm telling you, oh. they've locked it, that, that trust is bonded. Next, I've got Peckham, just historically. All Peckham girls are shysty. I have experienced that. Have you experienced them? Any? A few years. I've experienced that. Yeah, me, they're all shysty, man. South London, the dungeon. Then we've got Tottenham. Oh. <laughs> if you saw uh, the 2012 riots, if you saw what girls were doing, then I've got Wembley. Ooh, mistake. <laughs> mistake. Yeah, man. I can't yeah, 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 yeah. It's meant to be Croydon, then Wembley. Why Wembley though? Why Wembley though? Wembley is a good area, man. But Croydon, if you know about Croydon, out of the way. But it's, it's very much tap still. So why did you look this way? Like, <laughs> man, a resident, sorry. I would have this conversation, but that's a podcast. <laughs> so we have Croydon at the top. From personal experiences. You know, Croydon, there's a lot of uh, gang activity and crime there. The second one, Peckham. You've got your, obviously, your nitties and that there. Hackney. We got Tottenham. North London is just the worst place. You know we're in North right now. Yeah, but that's where I shoot. I'm getting the cap back. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you guys what I, you know, cooked yeah, up. Uh, Pap, are you okay in the head, bro? Tottenham before Peckham. We got Hackney at number one. I didn't get a single thing right. Yeah, because I've not seen somebody normal from Hackney in the past five years. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's wearing puffer jackets, it's 30 degrees. <laughs> what are you holding? Can we get water? Let's, let's, let's take a break, please. So let's take a break. Like Tottenham. Bro. Same as Hackney. These areas are killing you, bro. Um, Tottenham, man. Yeah, Tottenham, man. Tottenham, hey, Tottenham. Hey, the reason why I put Peckham third, because Peckham is quiet right now. It wasn't Joe. I would have put Croydon at number two, but Croydon's an amazing place. So you're a resident? Yeah, this oh, yeah. makes so much sense, huh? Propaganda. Huh? Wembley's all right, but I don't know nothing about Wembley. It's very, like, positive people there. <laughs> What's the <Yeah>. <laughs> Cool. What's the next question? Which uni struggle meal would you rather have? Options, we've got ketchup and rice. Oh, it's flipping yeah. heck. Tuna straight from the candy. Chai! Okay. Beans on toast, flipping heck. Uh-huh. Crackers and water, uh -huh. wow, and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone here have a struggle meal that they eat? Bread and, 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 and lemonade. <laughs> Bro, don't knock it until you try it. I didn't struggle at uni, that's the thing though. Obviously, my struggle meal was like calamari. Okay. With a bit of basil. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, calamari. Again? Again? Yeah. Sometimes I'm drinking it with wine. Oh. <laughs> when are trying, trying to peek? I'm just trying to peek, fam. So, the first one that I picked is beans on toast. Everyone has beans, everyone has toast. The second one, I think crackers on water, because Benzo's quite an elegant you. I can imagine him nibbling. Oh. Uh, you dab the crumbs. And then sleep. Because you're always sleeping. Tuna straight from the can. I don't think my brother would do that. Maybe a mackerel. And the next one is ketchup and rice. Number one, I put beans on toast. Nice little English breakfast. Like. Ketchup mm. and rice. Benzo's Congolese. That's your jollof rice, isn't it? Rice and Whoa. Packers and water. Tuna straight from the can. Times are tough. Mm -hmm. Cost mm -hmm. of living. Uh -huh. Sleep. I feel like Benzo wouldn't sleep because from his size. He's <laughs> First, I've got beans on toast. English delicacy, you can't go wrong. Crackers and water. Ding. The crackers are dry, but you know, the water's there to salivate in the mouth. Combination. Ding. Then I've got sleep. Sleep, you know, it's very tasty sometimes. <laughs> Don't ever make us sound like that right next to me again. Tuna straight from the can. My, my breath will be banging. Then I've got ketchup and rice last. Do you want, do you want me to be G-Ro? The first one I cheated, I'll be honest. You're gonna have one point deducted because you cheated. Okay, calm. What reality would you rather have? You're in a polyaramarus. Hi, is that a dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> You're in a poly... 
Amorous yeah. relation. What yeah. does that even mean? Like multiple people. Yeah, multiple people. Your parents have on demand access to view your every moment. You diarrhea shit every time you lie. You can hear everyone's real thoughts about you. God forbid. You skip a year of your life every time you're turned on. Hey, this is adult content. <laughs> <laughs> Do you actually think you know what, what goes on in my mind? Yeah, I do, bro. You see that machine, the, 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 the monkey thing? <laughs> <laughs> I put number one as you're in a poly, polyamorous relationship with your wife. Number you two. You don't know me, still. Your parents have an on demand access to view your every moment. African parents, like, they do that anyway, so that's just <laughs> for me. I put number three as you skip a year of your life every time you turned on. You diarrhea shit every time you lie. And, and number five. You can hear everyone's real thoughts about you. Knowing you, I don't, I don't feel like you would like to hear that about yourself. Like, you might turn mad. This middle seat is something, you know. Nah. Why wanna put your parents have on demand access? I feel like that's the safest option. You diarrhea every time you lie. I just reduce the lying. <laughs> <laughs> we'll reduce the nappies. You're in a polyamorous relationship with your wife and best friend. This is not ideal. Just for this, it can slide. <laughs> You can hear everyone's real thoughts about you. For the last one, you skip a year of your life every time you're turned on. Let me show you guys my role list. First we have, you diarrhea shit every time you lie. I just try my best not to lie. Number two, your parents have on demand access to um, view your, your every moment. There's nothing to hide, honestly. Like, yeah, why not first? Then? I'm talking to my mum. Oh, <laughs> sorry, auntie. Yeah, yeah. Third one, you skip a year of your life every time you get turned on. Now that, mad. Morning wood. You know what I'm saying? You can hear everyone's real thoughts about you. That one I'm not on. Peace yeah, of mind. Yeah, peace yeah. of mind. Like, I don't care what you think. Man. Last one, you're in a polyamorous. Um, you definitely have two teachers, didn't it? Yeah, you had TA in it. Yeah, TA. Poly. Poly. I'm a. I'm He doesn't go home on time. <laughs> that one's last, isn't it? Because I, like, I want to be with my wife and that. What would you rather do in exchange for 50 bags? Oh. oh. Lick in and around your boy's ear. Happy slap your mom. Ooh, Drink a pint of your own urine. Hi. <laughs> to your family group chat. Wow, this is explicit. Delete all your CBD forever. Damn. Nah. Oh shit. Oh, yeah. I can walk around it still. There's many things I would do for 50 bags. Yeah. Whoa. I've got lick in and around your boy's ear. For 50 bags. Quick one. Let's go make a quick one. <laughs> <Big> one. <laughs> Drink a pint of your own urine. Bear Girls did it. He survived. Send a nude to your family group chat. A quick one. WhatsApp. After that, delete from everyone. <laughs> Next one, I've got to delete all social media. You see your paps here? Social media go, man. Me knowing perhaps I think is gonna put happy slap your arm last, man. The first one, licking and around your boys' ear, as my brother said, you can you get me quickly. <laughs> send a new to your family group chat. You can quickly just send it, cut, delete it. Yeah. Boom. Drink a pint of your urine. Hold your nose, I'm saying there's techniques. You watch on TikTok, innit? Happy slap your mum. I feel like there's an arrangement. 50 bags. Delete all your social media forever. Live and go, man. You can't do it. Number one, lick in and around your boys' ear. Just a quick French kiss. <laughs> yeah. Take, take, take a pint of urine. The warm, the better, innit? Whoa! Whoa. 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 Send a new to your family group chat. Or just send that quickly. Sorry for the inconvenience. Sorry for your <laughs> It was hackers that got man in it. Happy slap your mum. Quick time. Oh, payback, 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 payback for the <laughs> flog in, our, in primary school for not passing my exams. Then delete all social media forever. This is my income. I don't work. So why would I delete something that I, 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 I gain money from? What's the ickiest thing a girl can do? First one, talk like man them. Uh, bro, yeah. Where's Dusty White Air Forces? Chai! Heavily uses American lingo. Per, period, slay. Where's birthday makeup? <laughs> Sleeps with a mouth open. Have you man experienced any of these ones? All of them still, yeah. Yeah, man. man, man I'm ready, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm ready still. So, where's Dusty White Air Forces? I don't think my brother Benzo here would stoop to such low levels, would you? Sleeps with their mouth open. Mm. I don't wanna smell that. I don't wanna. Birthday makeup. Is it Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> then torch that man then. It's finished. Why am I bucking my guys and then also bucking you? What go on fam? What are you telling me? I put heavily uses American lingo last because he does the same thing himself. So number one, I put where's birthday makeup. Talk mm -hmm. like man them have seen a skit like that that you've done. Heavily uses American lingo. I feel like the first video I seen was you imitating them. Sleep with their mouth open. I did like a birthday party. I think you slept on my AP. Your mouth was open, so I feel like you were you guys. <laughs> Dusty white air force in. But I put tools like man them first. Yeah. And my lips in Jamie from Top Boy. Next one is heavily uses American lingo. It's just noise, it's just like you see a mosquito. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where's birthday makeup? Why is your face looking like the Union Jack? 
Next one is where's Dusty at White Air Forces? We can make an excuse. We just went on we went Park Life, Glastonbury. There's a flared flex, the boot yeah. cutting, and then sleeps with mouth open. I'm fine with that one. Sleeping with mouth open is calm, man. That means I'm locked in. You trust me, you're comfortable, maybe. You confide in me. Which would you rather fight? A hundred rats, ten seagulls, one bull, thirty skunks, three large anaconda snakes. What would I rather fight? How many anacondas? Three large. You see, steps to size, yeah. I yeah. don't feel like you can fight one see, of them. This is body shame. Yeah, You're not yeah, taking three anacondas yeah. uh, easily. Yeah. So wait, what do you actually think I can slap up? No of them. Okay. Yeah. Now let me actually think about this though. I wanna come with a good answer. So. With steps, he can outrun the seagulls. He's very fast, and that's why I thought he would, you know, put the seagulls. On top of it, 100 rats here, yeah. similar to his size, so he can, you know. The run. large anaconda, C steps, he has like a big ego, so he wants to fight three of them. 30 skunks, I feel like by the smell, one smell, like it will, get, it will take him out. Mm -hmm. If one ball, one wrong turn, game over for him. Three large anacondas, you don't watch documentaries, do you? 10 seagulls, you can just feed him a chippy, distraction, get out of there. 30 skunks, I think they'll do him still. They've got some really sharp claws and some sharp teeth. That's why we're the 100 rats. Well, obviously, he's a relative. So. <laughs> Okay. One bull will do him, but okay. three anacondas, <laughs> one will take him. I hear it. Yeah, sure. man, this is my order. Let me show you my rule. You see three large anaconda snakes? I could come with an AK-47. It's not GTFI, bro. No, but have you bro. not seen snakes on the plane? Be honest, how big? Bro, anaconda, they're big, bro. Yeah. yeah Wait, bro. fine, it's like skunks, though. One fuck, bro, they'll take you out. Obviously, skunks smoke. Mm -hmm. I smoke good. Mm -hmm. So the aroma... You can distract them. 100 rats. You feel like you can take 100 rats? I'll be honest, bro. I didn't even know it's a slap. They'll do me up. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, 10 seagulls, I, I don't think I can reach. One bull. If I saw a bull running towards me and you was with me, on my life, I'll dash you in front. Who can do the fruit roll challenge the quickest? The fruit roll challenge? What is that? What's that? So it's like a fruit roll, like a long one, and you have to and eat you it. You have to suck it and yeah. I put steps in number one. Yeah, you win. Look at your teeth, man. Bruh. Ben's on number two. Mm. I don't really eat sweets, so I put myself uh, at number three. I'll put myself first, because I don't like losing. Perhaps it looks like an eater. Yeah, it does. You got races in it, so it will get clogged. So mine, Benzo's first. Perhaps. Yeah, Second, yeah. 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 And then I'm last because, yeah, that's not a game I'd love to win. Okay, well, let's put it to the test. Oh, oh, we're, put, we're putting it to the test. Three, two, one, go. My mouth is too smooth, you're good. You're good. I feel like... You have to swallow it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It might be cash price. <laughs> I've got a headache. Go on. Ah. Done. Uni motive. Yeah, man. Ooh. Uni kitchen motive. That's Frank who you, That's who you, man. Oh, my tooth. Ha! Ha! Obviously, Steps won this challenge, but the winner of the whole game with the most points is... Live. <laughs> Winner! How does that work out? If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Even leave a comment down below of who you thought the winner should have been. Because these men are whacking it. Like, it was always going to be me anyway. Right. But yeah, man, we'll catch you guys in the next episode or the next video or wherever you see us. You know what I'm saying? Trust me.